today? We're going to use the big chop chop to carve the pumpkin, huh? Right? Yeah. Yeah. And then what are we going to make? Yeah, pumpkin toothpaste. Pumpkin toothpaste. Wow. That's going to be fun. Okay, let's get started. We're going to carve a pumpkin, so we're going to use a sheet of plastic to put the seeds and everything onto. We're going to keep a tea towel handy to wipe our hands on. We have a pumpkin carving kit, which has a little saw blade and a scoop and um, something to poke the mouth out with. We're going to use a sharpie to draw on some eyes and a nose. We have a small knife just for the top of the pumpkin, and we have a second spoon just in case the pumpkin kit one isn't good enough. To get started, you want an adult to help you cut the top off the pumpkin because it can be really tricky. We are going to draw on the eyes and nose and only cut the mouth out for this project because we want the elephant toothpaste to come out only the mouth opening. Okay, Elizabeth, we're going to do this part together, okay? Let's see. Elizabeth, you scooped all the seeds and guts out of the pumpkin, and now we're ready to draw on the eyes and nose. Don't forget, we're not going to carve those out. We're just going to draw them on for this experiment. We drew on the eyes and nose, and we're going to get ready in a minute to carve the mouth, huh? We made our eyes look like it's being sick because our elephant toothpaste is going to come out the mouth. Huh, Elizabeth? Yeah. Are you ready to take the mouth out? Oh, yeah. Good job. Wow. Put it in the bucket with the seeds. Good job. Okay, Elizabeth, we're ready to make the pumpkin toothpaste. What we're going to need is... Soup. Soap! The fairy liquid works the best. We're going to need some sodium bicarbonate or baking soda. We're going to need some citric acid. We're going to need two different cups to measure into. One needs to be able to fit inside the pumpkin. So we're going to be able to take the lid off and put the container in. It doesn't want to be any taller than about halfway because we want it to come out the mouth and not out the lid. Okay. We're going to need 200 milliliters total of water, and we're going to use a few drops of food coloring. Okay, Elizabeth, when you're ready, we're going to squeeze some green food coloring into our 200 milliliters of water. Good job, that's perfect. Done. Yep. Once you have your food coloring in your water, you can set the water aside. We're going to measure one heaped tablespoon of sodium bicarbonate into the container that's going to go inside the pumpkin. Okay, you want the water. Once you've measured your heaping tablespoon of sodium bicarbonate into your container that you're going to put inside the pumpkin, um, go ahead and put it inside because it'll be easier to get in there before you add the water to it. Okay, Elizabeth, when you're ready, you can put one heaped tablespoon of citric acid into our second container. Some more. Job. Nope, that's it. Okay, the next step is to drizzle some fairy liquid, fairy brand works best, into our sodium bicarbonate that's in the container inside the pumpkin. That's it. Good job. Okay, 
Next, we're going to pour 100 milliliters of water. We, ours has the food coloring in, don't forget, into each container. We're gonna pour just a little bit. Perfect. Into that one, and then pour the, pour the rest into this one. More. It's gone. It's gone. Good job. In the kitchen. Now we'll put that in the kitchen, and we'll give those two pots a stir. When you're ready to start your elephant toothpaste reaction, make sure you try your lid back on the top of the pumpkin so you know which way it goes. You're going to pour your citric acid solution into your sodium bicarbonate solution. But you have to do it really quickly and then get the lid back on before it starts to come out the top. So make sure you know which way your lid goes.